Usually it's the, the guy with the beard. No? Come closer, please, because I mean you're so far away and we have to network. And uh, what I'm going to tell you also relates to this stance. Come on, come on, come on. Seriously. Now, you've got KBC, you've got um, you, Young Professional Foreign Policy, you've got uh, people that are going to help you with the CV. That's amazing. I mean, I wish I had this eight years ago when I came here. But it's just, it just a big learning curve. But what I'm going to share with you is the hard part. How many of you are trainees like that just joined? How many of you want to stay here? Most of you. <laughs> Most of you. I hope that those who want to stay are ready to play a game. Because getting a job here is a game which is not for everybody. This is what I wrote in my blog, and this is why these people called me. What I'm saying is that if you have a vocation for international relations, for politics, for networking, for being visible on social media, for talking about content that relates to the European Union, Brussels will welcome you with open arms. It is the place for you. If not, go somewhere else. Look outside. Go somewhere else. If you want to have a comfortable job and accommodating life, I don't think this is the place where you can build this kind of career. What I'm going to share with you is, your work is what you do, usually between 9 to 5, in our business. But then your career is what you do after that, and outside of that sphere. I see you're very scared, so I'm not going to continue. Check up with me later. Yeah. I think it would be better if you continue. Yes. Yeah, just to ease your mind and heart, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, Mark Zuckerberg said something very important a few days ago, something that defines the difference between institutions and businesses, mainly digital businesses. He said, we tend to overestimate what we can do in two years, but we underestimate what we can do in ten. And this is where most of us fail in reaching a vision. So all we want to look for is a vision, where we want to be in the next ten years. Go check this uh, speech at the Oscars that... Uh, Cagney gave. My hero is always myself in the next 10 years, but I never get there. Now, whatever you want to achieve, whether it is a job, whether it is a position, whether it is management, whether it is volunteering, whether it is fighting for a cause, my advice is think about that and play these scenarios backwards. Okay? Because where we fail is a lack of patience. We see, oh, I've been doing that for a year, it's not working, I leave. I've been doing that for two years, it's not working. You've got to think on the long term to get to that end goal. I've been here seven years, I signed 12 contracts. I was fired, I was rehired, but what didn't stop me was this vision. I want to get somewhere. I mean, I'm not sure I can give uh, much inspiration. I still share my flat, I don't have a house, I don't have a dog, I don't have a car. 
but people found some inspiration in what they wrote. And I hope I can give you some more advice later on. Agnes, is it okay? Yeah, for sure. Thank, Thank you, you very much. join him at Speed Networking at this place. In fact, we have so many other people who are still on their way to come here. As you can see, they are, you know, so busy and important, working a lot, so they couldn't have arrived yet. But I think at 8, we can also start with speed dating or speed networking. So at 8, I'm going to, you know, click again my marks and tell those who are interested to please come here and start this game with, uh, with people who already work at uh, the European Parliament, European commissions, and we have commission, and we have also some surprises, mm -hmm. so I encourage everyone to come and talk to these people. Um, just a couple of words about ourselves, because we are the Center for European Progression. We would also like to contribute to your uh, successful life in Brussels. That's why you can find us on the corner where you have in fact registered and if you have any questions related to the life in Brussels we are there to, to help or any other that pops up in your mind please feel free and talk to us maybe we can also give you some good advice about career building and uh, networking so thank you very much enjoy this evening and um, if you also want a second beer, please also come to our table because we have more coupons. Thank you very much. <laughs>